Okay, hello dear friends. Here we have a geometry problem. Uh, given is a circle R with middle M. Point C lies within the circle but is not equal to M. A random line segment PQ is a chord of R through point C and not going through M. We name the middle of the chord PQ point S. Proof that S is on the circle with diameter MC. So first we will draw a circle. Let's do a relative, relatively large circle. Oh, oh, sorry. Change a new piece. Of it. Turn over the page. So we will draw a circle here. Okay, go with the problem. Given a circle R with the center M, so this is a circle R, this is the center of, uh, of the circle M, and point C less within the circle, any point, can be here, 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 let me put it here, and this is a C, there is a point, within the circle but not equal to M and C is not the same as M. So there are two uh, individual points, not related individual points. A random line segment, random line segment, any line segment, PQ is a chord of, uh, of, uh, <coughs> of R, so 1P, 1Q, anywhere and uh, goes through point C, through point C and not going through M. So it goes through C but should not go through M. So let's do a random one here, not make it too straight, right? So it goes through the circle P and Q and here is the line C, the, the point C, and uh, <clears throat> we name the middle of the chord PQ, point S, so the middle of it is S. How do we get this middle? We will do it scientifically. And we get one point here. So we are drawing a perpendicular di uh, uh, bisect line and the middle is here. We do it scientifically. So this is the center S and uh, <clears throat> now they ask us to draw, to, to prove S is on the circle of MC as diameter. So we need to find the center of MC. We will do it scientifically. Draw a perpendicular line. So between this point and this point, this is a perpendicular by sector line and this is the center of MC. Now we draw a line that goes through a little bit, a little bit off. So we need to prove that uh, C, S, M is on a line and C, M is the, um, is the, 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 the radius. C, M is a radius. Okay, now we will need one auxiliary line. So we connect P, P, M, and P, Q. 
in triangle in triangle P M S P M S and the triangle Q M S triangle Q M S in these two triangles we know P M equal P M equal Q M P M equal Q M why because they are radius by definition of the circle the radius is the same and uh, <coughs> another thing we know P S equal Q S because we know S is the center of the line segment PQ. The second thing, PS equal QS. QS. Another thing we know, SM equal SM. And SM equal SM because they are the same. Now we get to get to the approval that uh, <coughs> triangle PMS is congruent to triangle QMS. So these two triangles are uh, are um, congruent. So the the angle PSM and QSM is the same. Therefore, PSM equal angle QSM QSM and PQ is a straight line so it's 180 degree PQ is 180 degree and 180 has two equal angles composed of two equal angles so each angle is 90 degree therefore PSM equal QSM equal 180 divided by 2 no this is not oh, oh. Gosh, what is happening our teacher does not have to run <sighs> equal to 180 degree divided by 2 equal 90 degree right so we know this is 90 degree P S M is 90 degree it's perpendicular they are perpendicular and within this circle we make a circle with CM as diameter and within this circle we know tails theorem let me read the tails theorem tails theorem is Tails theorem because we prove this is uh, gosh tail law tails law. So
salt in geometry. Tails. Tails serum. In okay, according to Tails serum, any triangle, the three vertices can fit into a circle, and uh, <clears throat> the diameter facing the circle, the opposite of the diameter, the angle opposite of the dia diameter is 90 degree. And the converse is true also. If um, a triangle on the circle, if an angle is 90 degree, it is facing a uh, diameter. It's also true if you do not use it because this is 90 degree and uh, <clears throat> the, the angle, such an angle, three points on the, on the, 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 uh, on the circle, this arc is 180 degree because it is twice the it is twice the degree of the angle make sense anyway the language is tough for me thank you very much i hope this can help you